I've always been around death. Obviously, I've had loved one die. It becomes part of life. So, no, I'm not a particularly morbid person. We just learn to sort of adapt. And people don't want the traditional morbid undertaker. They'd like you to treat them more like a human being. Uh, so I'm Stephen from London Funerals and directcremation.co.uk. Uh, I'm an undertaker rather than a funeral director. So an undertaker's job is to make all the preparations for the family, to undertake the task of arranging the funeral. This is a simple funeral today. So the coffin is already here for the service. Uh, and there's no hearse or bearers. So the family are going to have a family-led service today, uh, mostly music and people speaking, uh, instead of the traditional funeral. It's a lot cheaper and we find a lot more people are choosing this option. There are funerals that are difficult to do. Obviously child funerals, it doesn't have to be the, the age of the child. Any parent that's uh, doing the funeral of their child is, is always a sad thing. Funerals often lead to um, family issues, so occasionally you have to have two separate funerals for the same person, um, so that's sometimes challenging, but um, just find a way of helping. This crematorium that does between four and eight cremations per day, but they can do more. Usually um, when we're involved for our direct cremation brand, they're doing uh, around 10 to 12 cremations a day. The time of cremation doesn't really impact by the size of the person. It's more a question of bone density. So a lot of people are surprised when they receive the ashes of their loved one, um, that there's a lot. And then after the cremation, the ashes are raked and they go into this container to cool. This is the cremulator. A cremulator turns the remains after a formation into a consistent powder, which most people are familiar with. Uh, it takes about three minutes and then this is the transfer case for transferring those ashes. We have separate uh, storage here. Um, magnets take out any sort of implants or screws from the coffins, um, they're stored here and recycled. 